Hello guys, charm update number 16. I think I really should check before I do this. Pretty sure it's number 16. I'm just gonna jump right into this because when I say I have a lot of charms, I mean a crap load of charms. So I'm just gonna get started. I'm gonna show all the chibis at the end because there are a lot. They're kind of a majority, I would say. So I'm just going to start out with this pretty little cake, because I used a tutorial for it. Before it even focuses, I think we know what tutorial I used. If my camera would focus, you know, that would be, that would be nice. <clears throat> camera! There we go. Okay, so I used... Tony Ellison's, of course, right when I get it to focus, I knock the camera down. I use Tony Ellison's pastel rainbow macaron cake. It had some long title that I don't remember, and it took so long to texture it. But it has a whole bunch of macarons on the top. The frosting is silicone. The rest is polymer clay. Then I have this cupcake. As you can probably tell, I was late for Halloween, but you know what? You know what? There isn't that much, so deal with it. Come on. Okay, so I have this Halloween kind of zombie cupcake. So the bottom is green with some, that looks blue, it's purple, with some purple, green, and pink pastels on the bottom to look rotten. I did the same with the brain, and there are worms coming out, and there's a cockroach on it. And I gotta glue the eye pin in there, so yep. Then again for Halloween, I have a Frankenstein's monster, as viewed by today. And I have no idea where this came from, because Frankenstein's monster looked a little bit more like that. Just because something's rotten doesn't mean it's green. So I mixed together a whole bunch of scraps that look like skin tone. And this one has a little bit of green, because... Frankenstein waited a very long time before he could put everything together, and I'm sure some of the pieces rotten. And this is a little burnt ear. That's why it's black and tiny. <laughs> and he has his nose. I guess this is Caucasian. African American. Someone with a tan. Someone not with a tan. And he has eyebrows, and if you can't tell, there's a smile. And he, pretty sure he would have bicolored eyes. Again, because he was a mix mash up of different parts, and of course he had to have those there. The screws, nails, whatever you want to call them. Otherwise he would not be able to be brought back to life. Why does this end up every single time? It's so old. Then I have this cheesecake. It still needs to be glazed, but it is cute. I love making cheesecakes. I also got to fix up that right there. Then I have this realistic cookie. Cookies are fun, by the way. I finally... Oh yeah, my friend drew on the back of this. You know who you are, Eden. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yep, but realistic cookies are fun. I finally mastered pasteling on cookies. And then here's a mini version. Yay. I say my yay is weird. I say yay. Isn't it yay? Whatever. Um, this was also for Halloween. Uh, the glaze around here was a uh, messed up. I had to fix it. It's a little black cat magnet. And the eyes are actually fluorescent, glow in the dark, whatever you want to call it. And uh, this is all clay. Oh. <laughs> there goes his ear. <laughs> yeah, I'll just uh, put you gently to the side. And then these are still relevant in the spirit of fall. So I made some apple things. I still haven't cleaned the sides of this one up yet. You know how when people go bobbing for apples in like a barrel? Yep. And the water is resin. Super hard because I had to tape up the sides to get the resin in there and it still fell. But, you know, I cleaned it off. Let's see. All those tiny apples were sculpted. They're not just... Well, they kind of are balls of clay because they're apples, but, you know. And then I have kind of like a set of apples. So I have the 
the golden delicious with this face. The Granny Smith with this face. And my personal favorite, the Red Delicious with this face. And these are very smooth and super clean because I clean them off with my good old friend, Acetone. Let's see if I can show it to you without getting it all over the place. But I'll just... Awesome. You should probably just buy the nail polish remover kind. Make sure it's like 99% or 100% Acetone. That's hardware store Acetone. So don't kill yourself, by the way. Laughing at. Uh, sorry, I'm just getting all the not chibis, which is like not that many charms. Oh, here, look at those while you wait. Um. Okay. <clears throat> here we go. And I made this lollipop. Lollipop, lollipop, oh, lollipop. Sorry. Just waiting for it to focus. Oh, that was great singing, I just realized. Yes. And this is just a toothpick that I painted white. Then I have this kitty bread, which is totally not done yet. I had to paint the back of the ears and the rest of the face. But it still came out. Wow, I have more chibis than I thought I did. But yep, mm -hmm. there's that. And then I have this blueberry cake, which is kind of inspired by Tony Ellison. And I'm stupid, and I put the blueberries on before I cut it, so it was really hard to texture it without getting the blueberry stuff all over myself, so that's why the texture is kind of sucky. Also, because my camera's a butt and doesn't like to focus on things. Then I have these two cutie mark pendants. Here's the first one. It is obviously Best Pony, who was Rarity. And if it would focus, I could tell you more about it. Camera, come on. Are you going to do it? You're not going to do it, are you? Two can play at this game. That's what I thought. Okay, so the white is her coat. The cutie mark is her cutie mark. And the purple here, that looks totally blue. But the purple around represents her mane. And the back is just... That's how I keep my white clay clean because of acetone, bros. And then I have Princess Luna's, which is a little dirty. But you know, I don't mind. She's Luna. She's cool. And these are two very different colors. This is like purple-blue mix. See? Oh, now, now it looks purple compared to the blue. But yep, this is blue and black. And it's Princess Luna's cutie mark. And I, act, and I made it bigger on purpose because Princess Luna is a princess and Rarity is not. No matter how much she might act like it. <laughs> and then still pony. This is the last pony thing. Oh, kind of, I guess. Nightmare Moon, and everything that looks blue is purple. Except for her eyes. Like this eyeshadow, purple. Eyeliner, purple. Her armor and shoes, those are blue. <laughs> and her wing detail. Horn, purple. Purple mane, purple face. I'll see if I can shove a picture in at the end of what the colors actually look like for all the purple. Stuff. But this came out super adorable. Ah, uh, bam. Cannot handle it. Okay. Last pony thing, I swear. <laughs> this is not glazed yet, but it's this super adorable bonbon. Focus, you can see how cute it is. So, yep, it's a bonbon chubby. She still needs a Lyra chubby to go with her, but... Oh, she's so cute. And I love her hair, it's so it's really easy to put in 3d <laughs> all right now the rest is chibis and they're mostly homestuck chibis so if you don't like homestuck i just like put an annotation to where you can skip but even if you don't know what homestuck is you can enjoy the chibis i guess oh no i think i'm missing the cockles can i find him nope too lazy. Okay. So, first I have Miss Paint, who is a cute patoot. Hold on. Camera's being a drama queen. There we go. So, I have Miss Paint, 
same friend drew on her. <clears throat> yep, yeah, but she came out so cute. Oh my god. And her legs are, um, they're not breaking because they're not clay. They are wire with several layers of paint to make them thicker. Yep. And I didn't use eye pins on most of these chibis. No, I didn't use eye pins on any of these. Well, most of these chibis because these are more durable. They are just paper clips that I have cut in half. So, so I have Miss Paint. And then I have Mulin. And her eyes seem to disappear here because it's actually just a light gray because she's dead. Mulin is dead. No, but we don't know that. She's got her tail. She's got a little cute outfit going on. And she has green socks. And I'm just going with the da damn ancestors. These are just the ancestors. I'm sorry. I'm going to have Horace, who is the cutest patoot on the face of the earth. Oh, are you... <sighs> I missed a spot with the glaze. See, look how different it looks before I glaze. Yep. So, he was a pain with all his details. I mean, sculpting them wasn't hard, but painting them all was. Because I had to use two different browns, three, four different browns. Yep, so there's his suit, and his goggles, and his horns, and I love his mohawk ponytail thing. And these, they may not look like it, all these yellow dots are actually gold. And then last ancestor is Porum, who actually came out my favorite because of her eyebrows, look at that! And I got all her piercings and her teeth, I guess. Yep. And there's her hair. I don't know why, but whenever I paint their hair, I always get something on it. She's got her horns. And I love the way her makeup came out. Her eyes came out absolutely perfect. I'm so happy with them. And she even has tiny little tattoos. And her dress in boobies. Yes. I'm immature. I can say boobies if I feel like it. Okay. <laughs> yep. Then I have Car Cat. Darn, this is the one that I don't like as much. I had two. I found him! Okay, I have two now. Then I know where they both are. So, Carcat 2 and Carcat 1. I'm calling this one Carcat 1 because I like it better. And these are a keen commission for a friend who never came to pick them up. So I guess they're mine. No, oh, I, I want to get paid for these, but they're so cute. Oh my god. And to go with them, of course, his Moirels, Gamzy, and Gamzy. <laughs> and it's cute because they go together. Ah! So this is just a regular Gamzy. And you had to mix a lot of paint just to get those tiny little details on it. If you would focus, you could see his face paint. It took forever. Come on! They're waiting on you, camera. There we go. Good enough. I'll take it. Yep. So his face paint is on there. There you go. There you can see it. And he looks pretty stoned, but you know what? It's Gamzy. And he's got his teeth and his spotted pants. Which took longer than you think. I don't know why their hair gets so dirty. <laughs> and those are his horns. And then I love this Gamzy two bits. I want to keep him so much. He's holding a little slime pie. While I was painting the slime on, some of it got on his face, but they just made it so much cuter. Yep, so there's this Gamzy, spotted pants, and the pan is a uh, silver paint. Oh look, what a shame, it seems that we're getting to the end of our charm update. We only have four more cheekies left, but I have sculptures. Even though this is long already. And then this chibi, th these aren't homestuck anymore. This is, uh, if anyone knows the channel, Rooster Teeth. If you're not allowed to say or hear curses, or you don't say or hear curses, don't go on their channel. <laughs> They're very, uh, cursy. <laughs> so this is, uh, Michael Rage Quit Jones, because he does the show Rage Quit. And since it's called Rage Quit, I made him very angry looking, and I love his hair. It came out so cute. And I even painted on the uh, Xbox control. It's really hard to see. But I painted all of the buttons on there. That was so hard. And he has his little headphones. And this is super glued in. So that's not going nowhere. And um, I, I asked my sister if I should add veins to the eyes. And she said yes. And I'm glad she did. Because it gave it the perfect 
angry look. Because I was thinking, I was experimenting with mouse. Let me get you the paper. It looks really <laughs> stupid. <laughs> so I drew this face so many times. I got, that's why it's so perfect on the charm. And also because I'm awesome. But yep, yeah, this was my experiment paper. So we got this, 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 this. And then my sister drew this one, which looks so stupid. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. Yep, but I settled with this one. And this took forever. It has the Achievement Hunter logo on the back. So yay! Ah, ah, ah. Curse you, friends, with sore throat. And this is like the only chibi here. Yeah, it is the only one with shoes. So congratulations, Michael. <laughs> then I have this chibi of Canada from Access Powers Italia. Or Italia Axis Powers, or whatever you want to call it. I don't care. And his eyes look blue, but I assure you, they are purple. They're purple. So, yeah. I had to mix that color for his hair. And this uh, curly bit is wire. And I really like how his hair came out. And uh, his head looks a little weird, but you know what? He's cute. And that maple leaf is so tiny. Look at it compared to my thumbnail. So that took... Like, look how large my brush is compared to that. And the tiny brush. <coughs> oh, I'm sorry about that. Now I don't sound as weird. So this is my aunt's doggy. Woof, woof, one, one. I had a larger sculpture of her, which was super awesome, but she already came and took it. So I'll ask her to bring it back in December when she comes again. And I'll take some pictures of it. Maybe make a video just for it. Yeah. So this is her dog. Her name is Lucy. And she is a really adorable Australian Shepherd mix. And this was glazed with triple thick. And I remember why I don't use it anymore. Look at all those bubbles. Bubbles. But she won't mind. I do, but she won't. Because if I peel off the glaze, I'm going to have to repaint this. And just paint to paint. And I don't have that color anymore. So this is Lucy. And to go with it, I made my aunt. I mean, she doesn't look exactly like that. But it, it's, it's a... I don't know. It's, what's it called? It's a likeness of her. Look at all the bubbles on the triple thick! That's black, not gray with bubbles in it, okay? But these came out super cute. Now I have some sculptures to show you. This is a long video. You can watch it in parts. I should probably split it into parts. But, um, zoom out. Choo, 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 choo. I have this Lyra sculpture. It's a sitting down Lyra. This is a glass block, by the way. Oh, wow, that's a weird perspective. That's also weird. And she sits down. She's so cute. And since I don't have a small Lyra to go with the bonbon, I just put the bonbon on her head. And it is the cutest thing. Oh, you can see stuff back there. So, so it's super cute. She is glazed, and she sits, and she's made out of scrap clay. All right. So that's Lyra. All right, so that's the end of this charm update. I could show you more stuff, but I don't want this to be any longer than it is. It's a massive 18 minutes, I think. So, yeah. Bye, guys. If you have any requests for charms or tutorials, I have one Pony tutorial pending. I just forgot your username. I'm sorry, but I'm filming it and editing. And wow, I didn't think filming ponies was that hard. I'm sorry, bro. But well, yeah, I hope you enjoy it when I post it. Hope you enjoyed this charm update. And leave a comment. I said this already. Leave a comment if you have any requests for charms or tutorials. I won't know if you don't tell me. So yeah. Bye, guys. I will see you next time.